MSTR is sitting at one of the most historically undervalued points of this cycle. And when we've hit these levels before, it's historically led to massive upside. So in this video, I'm breaking down three powerful data-driven indicators that reveal just how undervalued MSTR really is. And, of course, we'll dive into some bold price predictions that show why the potential reward here could be explosive. So let's get into it. All right, let's dive into where MSTR, or strategy, stands today by looking at three of my favorite long-term data-driven indicators. And of course, we'll cover everyone's favorite, which is price predictions. Let's start off with the 200-day moving average heat map. Now, if you've been following my work for a while, you know that I really like this one because it anchors us to a long-term objective measure of trend. The 200-day moving average is one of the most widely used technical tools in all of trading. It's a simple line that takes the average closing price of Bitcoin over the last 200 days. And when price is above it, we're typically in a bullish structure. And when it's below, we're usually in bearish territory. But the way I like to use it isn't just looking at the line itself. I also track the deviation from it. And that's where this heat map comes in. The red and orange tones here mean that price is stretched far above the average and is often associated with either local overheating or just late cycle euphoria. And the green and blue tones, on the other hand, mean that prices dropped deeply below their average, which historically has signalled extreme undervaluation and some of the best long-term buying opportunities in MSTR's history. Now, here's the key point. For the first time in this cycle, we've just had our first set of green dots. And that's significant because, historically, green dots appear in either one of two scenarios. Firstly, during the very best buy-the-dip moments in a continuing bull market. And secondly, at the start of a bear market breakdown. So the natural question is, which one are we looking at right now? Well, my view is, is that the broad trend is still intact and that we haven't topped this cycle. There are several reasons for this, such as macro conditions, my favourite on-chain indicators, all the way to the structure of the previous cycles. So when I see these green dots now, I interpret them not as the start of a deep bear market, but as deeply undervalued levels within a continuing longer-term uptrend. And that is exactly where your conviction matters. If you believe Bitcoin still has room to run, then these MSTR green dots are screaming that this is an extreme discount. But if you believe the top is already in, then this looks like it could be the beginning of some real pain. For me, the evidence weighs towards the first scenario, that we're closer to a massive opportunity than a full capitulation. Next, let's move on to one of my personal favourite tools, the Z-score probability waves. This one is statistical in nature, and I think it's one of the cleanest ways to frame asset prices in terms of probabilities. The Z-score is just a simple way of measuring how far price has deviated from its mean, expressed in standard deviations. If that sounds technical, here's what it means in practice. Instead of just saying price is above or below its average, the Z-score tells us how extreme that move is in statistical terms. For example, a reading of plus 2 means that MSTR is in this case two standard deviations above its long-term mean, which is something that doesn't happen very often and typically signals overheating. And a reading of minus two means it's two standard deviations below, which is a statistically rare downside deviation. Or in other words, the market has just been crushed relative to its average. And this gives us a probability-driven map of where MSTR stands, and more importantly, where the most statistically significant levels of support and resistance are likely to be found. And right now, our strategy is sitting in the minus two standard deviation zone. And that's important because we've only visited this zone twice this cycle. And every time, it's been a strong area of support. And it's the kind of statistical extreme where mean reversion usually kicks in. But could we go lower? Well, of course we can. And the most extreme downside deviation I can see playing out is at the minus three standard deviation level, which would also equate to a price at around $268. So it's actually not that far from the price that we're at currently. But before you panic, let me be clear, I don't think that we're going anywhere near there. That's more of a theoretical maximum pain scenario, the far end of the probability spectrum. But personally, I think minus two is already deep enough. And history suggests that these levels usually mark capitulation rather than the beginning of a freefall. As always, I love this approach because it forces you to think in probabilities and not absolutes. Instead of guessing, is MSTR cheap or expensive, you can quantify it and we're currently two standard deviations below the mean. And that is a rare scenario. And in markets, when something is rare, it usually doesn't last long. Either the average has to catch down, or price has to mean revert back up. And in strategy's case, with Bitcoin's long-term supply dynamics remaining unchanged for now, I lean towards reversion to the upside. 
Now let's quickly talk about the third tool, which is the monthly momentum. This one is designed to capture the strength of the trend over a long-term horizon by measuring how much price has changed over a 30-day look-back period. And instead of just showing the raw price, it converts it into a percentage momentum for a long-term health check of the market. And right now, the monthly momentum is sitting around minus 30%. And every time we've hit this level in the past, it's acted as a support. Now, it's not an exact science, but the momentum has always seemed to found a flaw at this minus 30% level, and that's where reversals have often begun. And if history repeats, or even just rhymes, this could once again mark the point where bearish momentum exhausts itself and the trend begins to turn again. And I just want to emphasise something here. The monthly momentum isn't about catching the tops or bottoms to the exact day. It's about identifying the structural phases of the market. A negative monthly momentum tells us that we're not in a runaway bull, that we're in a corrective or consolidating phase. But for me, the fact that this level is historically marked bottoms suggests that it's not the time to capitulate, but rather a time to prepare for a potential mean reversion. Now, let's quickly switch gears for a minute and talk about something everybody loves, which is price predictions. I've been running some numbers through my little calculator here. And when you look at MSTR, their Bitcoin accumulation strategy gives us a really interesting way of thinking about where the stock could trade in the months and years ahead. Now, since they started their Bitcoin game plan, they've been adding roughly 10,000 Bitcoin a month on average, and at the same time diluting their shares by about 3,200 shares per month. And this difference is exactly why their strategy keeps working. So if you assume nothing else changes the same market to net asset value or MNAV of around 1.45 at the moment, and Bitcoin holding just steady at around $109,000, then the fair value of the stock comes out somewhere between $328 and $338 within the next 6 to 12 months. Now we can stress test that valuation a little bit. If conditions worsen, say the MNAV compresses further down to around 1.25, and Bitcoin softens to $100,000, then we'd still be looking at a price range of about $259 to $267. So for me, that's a pretty realistic medium-term downside case. And on the other side, if we simply expand back to a more historically reasonable 2 times MNAV, and Bitcoin revisits its prior all-time high of $124,000, then the numbers jump to $514 to $530. And that's a pretty significant re-rating. And to me, it shows why I think the upside here is asymmetrical. And finally, let's just have some fun with a more speculative case. If this cycle pushes Bitcoin to $150,000 and strategy's MNAB multiple expands to the kind of throthy 3.5x levels that we've seen in prior cycles, then you're suddenly looking at a stock price in the range of $1,000 to $1,100. And that's assuming that they keep expanding their Bitcoin exposure at the same rate that they were doing. And for me, that's kind of the outcome that shows why MSTR is such a fascinating vehicle for Bitcoin exposure. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but it's the leverage effect at work, where Bitcoin itself might do a 1.5 to 2x from here. But this particular equity could do 4x or 5x under the right conditions. And that's exactly why I believe the current levels are offering us that rare asymmetrical bet that you don't often see in the market. So if we zoom out and put all of this together... On the one hand, the 200-day moving average heat map is printing green dots, which is extreme undervaluation signals that only appear in two scenarios, either deep buy-the-dip opportunities or the start of a bear market. And on the other hand, the z-score probability waves are showing us that the minus two standard deviation level, which is a rare downside deviation, is historically linked to support. And finally, the monthly momentum is at minus 30% which is a level that has consistently marked structural bottoms in all previous cycles. So when I see all three of these things lining up like this, the conclusion to me is pretty clear. We're in a statistically rare confluence of undervaluation. But could things get worse before they get better, such as going down to the minus three standard deviation level at around $260? Well, always, there's no certainty in markets. But the weight of evidence across the three independent tools all point towards that this is just a phase of opportunity rather than despair. So although I might not be going all in at these levels, I'm certainly dipping my toe in it. And if you want to frame that opportunity in numbers, at current accumulation and dilution rates, even in a compressed scenario, the downside sits near $260. 
But if Bitcoin retests its all-time highs, we're talking $500 plus. And at a speculative cycle peak of $150,000 with stretch multiples, the stock could easily break $1,000. And that's why I call it asymmetric. The risk is capped, but the upside is explosive. And here's where opinion comes in. I think too many traders are overly focused on short-term noise. They're zoomed in on hourly charts, panicking at every move. But when you step back and use the long-term statistical frameworks like these, you get a much clearer view. You see that both Bitcoin and MSTR are not just some volatile assets swinging around randomly. They're markets that move in cycles with deep mean reverting tendencies. But that doesn't mean you just blindly buy because the indicator flashes green. But it does mean that you can contextualise what's happening. And if you believe Bitcoin is dead, then ignore these signals altogether. But if you believe Bitcoin has further upside to go, then these signals are some of the strongest opportunities you're ever going to get. So whether you act on it is up to you completely. But at the very least, I hope this gives you a clearer lens on the bigger picture that's at play. So to wrap things up, MSTR is currently at one of its most statistically significant undervaluation levels in recent history. The 200-day moving average heat map is showing green dots. The probability waves is deep in negative sigma territory. And the monthly momentum is hitting historical support levels. So when you combine all three, it's a rare alignment signalling that an opportunity is there, rather than despair. And looking at strategies Bitcoin accumulation and MNAV multiples, the setup shows that we have clear asymmetrical upside. Downside is pretty limited, even in a compressed scenario, but if Bitcoin climbs or the multiples expand, or even both, then the upside is substantial, and that's a setup where risk is contained, but potential gains are large. And finally, this episode is just another reminder that short-term noise often misleads. Focusing on long-term, data-driven frameworks reveals cycles, structural phases, and mean reversion points. And right now, for MSTR and Bitcoin, the bigger picture points to a historically rare opportunity with meaningful upside, potentially not too far around the corner. If you're serious about Bitcoin analysis, my full custom indicator suite is now live. Built for investors looking to gain an edge through deep cycle signals and advanced on-chain insights. It's available now through the link in the description where you'll also find my free newsletter. And if you found this valuable, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,